Hello Frisky Fighters, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at an in-depth guide on the Sorcerer Supreme herself. Now, with this guide I plan to tell you about the different weapons that she has, the two that she has, her playstyles, how you should play her. The only reason why I, I waited a little bit because I did want to at least get up in the ranks. Uh, so being a defender, being up there in the higher class, I uh, I feel like that I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. Uh, so if you want to take my advice, I definitely believe now is the time. <laughs> but yes, before you do anything, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notify bell if you want more content. Leave comments down below which character you would like to see me diagnose, look at, get in depth in next. But yeah, with that being said, we're gonna get right to the nitty gritty of what she is. Uh, she is a support, she can heal. That's kind of one of her main basic things is healing and supporting the actual champions that she has around her. Not trying to put her on the front line, but usually trying to keep her either in the back line or around your main damage dealer. Now, you can do certain other aspects, like uh, depending on the weapon you have, where you can focus down enemies, you can weaken enemies, and you can break their armor. All depending on how you play and your play style, if you're aggressive or not aggressive. But that goes on if your teammates are going to be with you or not. But we're going to look at her, her core kit right now, what she can do. So first and foremost, as you can see, the bolts, this is one of her, her weapons right here. The bolts of Vathanok, I've said that wrong, so Supreme release a simple bolt of energy. It basically, she throws like the ball. Her dodge is a quickly teleports her, so you, with that teleport, you can go through different objects. You can get in, you can dash away, you can uh, dodge a lot of things, so make sure you utilize that dodge. And then her heavy attack is really good. The Soul Supreme charges up and releases a projectile that bounces to nearby enemy to deal mystic damage and inflict armor break. Armor break is good. You want to apply that armor break as much as you can to as many opponents as you can. Now, you can single out and do it just to one, but I always recommend to try to use that because it bounces back and forth between the enemy. So, try to make sure that group are clustered up before you use it. But if you if you can't, do not be afraid to go ahead and use that because there are different perks, different things you can use that can uh, affect your cooldown ratio so you'll get it back really quickly. Now, this is her main her main ability that you have during both of her weapons the divine conduit the social supreme instantly heals nearby allies and then conjures an aura that heals those that stay near her so pretty much she'll heal people and then if they stay around her they'll continuously get healed this is good like i said make sure to stay behind your core people be it your tank and just and just heal from the back line and then something that comes with this is the the kraken's curse the Source of Supreme curses all enemies in a small area to deal mystic damage. Now with the curse ends, the target takes additional damage based on the damage taken during this curse. Now, basically in layman terms, what you want to do is apply this to as many people as you can. You can apply it to multiple targets, so always try your best to hit multiple targets with this. Now, and then once you do that, make sure to apply damage. Make sure they are getting attacked because that attack damage is amplified at the end of this and then you will be able to actually do more damage. So just remember that when you're playing with her. And then with this, this weapon's special ability is basically the Crimson Band's Psytroc. I know I said that wrong. But this allows you to damage them and hold them in place and does damage over time. You to channel this binding around any enemy, dealing mystic damage and inflicting stun to the duration. So basically, you can hit it and you just stay holding it even though you will be locked in one place. So will the person you have. They will be locked in one place. They can't move. This is really good for isolating either a tank or attack damage dealer usually i say focus the damage dealers so everyone can uh, focus him down and then they're gone they're destroyed you don't have to worry about it but yeah that is one this is more of the aggressive build because you have your armor breaking move and then you also have your move that actually locks down and targets one enemy this is more of an aggressive support so if you more want to play aggressive and be aggressive with your support I, I suggest get this now she has one more let's go take a look and 
this is the one that you start off with. Now with this one, as you know, you have different abilities. Like I said, you, you keep with the divine conduit. You, you keep with that move. That is your, your mainstay. But you get two alternate things when you have this applied. So you check this out. The light of never yet never yawn. The source of supreme calls upon the powers of the Nervion to deal mystic damage and inflict weakness to all enemies in the target. So this is also good, like I said, for for targeting multiple enemies. You can always run up and drop this first because usually the enemies they will be grouped up coming at you when the first game first start. And you can throw that down and it will cause weakness, allowing you to be able to deal damage to them, more damage to them, you know, they will be weaker. And then their second, her second ability with this is the Shield of Seraphim. The Social Supreme channels a magical shield that protects her and nearby allies from damage. This basically it heals them and it shields them, which is really good. With this weapon, you will be more on the actual supportive side. You'll be more of a mainstay support because you'll be doing tons of healing unless you're dropping that weakness spells to do damage that way. Now, you coordinate this by staying in the back line and being back behind your enemies, then you will be a-okay. Now, we were going to jump in some gameplay and I'll show you the two different types of playstyle of how you will play with her and how you should play with her. Because, like I said before, this, they're, they're two different things. So, let's just go ahead and we're going to jump in with this right here. And we're gonna show you basically how to or how uh, how to play this in a supportive role all right so with this you see this is weird we do have multiple sources of supreme, but with this we're gonna stay in the back line like I said with this build that we have here so staying in the back line but causing the weakness to as many as you can to go in with her. Use that armor break, that would be nice. Nice, nice, nice. They captured it, that's great. But as you see, you have to, uh, with her, you have to play a little bit more on the defensive side if you're playing with this actual build. So if you want to be more aggressive, you only got one with me. They couldn't kill. That's the thing. You don't do a lot of damage with this build, which is the worst part about it. Oh, I used that at the wrong time. Nice, 
nice, nice, nice. He was able to get the kill on that and die. Uh, 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 we should, we could have, we should have backed up a little bit there. Oh. Oh, I almost died right here too. <laughs> See, by doing those basic things of uh, knowing your surroundings, being aware of your opponents, and being aware of your teammates and how they're playing, you can kind of adjust yourself to play their play style so you can stay back, support them in the back line, and then when you need to activate your abilities at the proper time and you're able to bam save your team like we did. Now, let's get a game where we're actually playing a more aggressive support. All right, let's see what we can do with this team. Oh my god, it disconnects randomly. But it looked like we captured it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we got it. But yeah, so you doing that, as you can see, it definitely, it definitely helps. It helps you play more aggressively and you can actually be there for your, for your heroes and for your fellow champions right there in the mix with there. And you can feel like you're doing a lot of damage because you are. Just make sure you have your things upgraded and you keep going through and cycling through your actual abilities. But yeah, that is... Social Supreme kind of in a nutshell. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> 
for watching. Thank you for checking it out. Uh, let, let me know who you want to see more down below in the comments. Uh, who you want to see next. I have everyone unlocked. So just please let me know what you want to see. And we will break down both the weapons and show you gameplay on how to do their game styles in this mode. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to always, always stay frisky. And I love you. They act like you fuck with them. They don't know I be gunning. Pow, pow, got them running. I feel like they just racing. Over to come over to party with me. Shots on shots way over the limit.